The head of the Federal Air Transport Agency, Dmitry Yadrov, stated that the certification process for the domestically produced Russian airliner MC-21 is anticipated to be finalized by the end of 2026. Currently, the aircraft has conducted only 23 certification flights out of the required 293, indicating that the testing program remains in its initial stages. Yadrov clarified that five main systems still require complete replacement and certification. The ice protection system, the water vacuum system, the collision warning system, the weather radar, and the electrical power system. These components are reportedly nearing completion, and aviation authorities affirm that the program continues to adhere to its established schedule. Aviation sector experts indicate that factors beyond merely technical difficulties are causing delays in the MC-21 program. Russia's domestic aerospace industry continues to expand its manufacturing capabilities and develop specialized expertise, both of which are essential for the successful implementation of the aircraft's import substitution strategy. Replacing foreign-produced components with domestically sourced alternatives requires an enormous number of engineers skilled in composite materials, avionics, and system integration, expertise that is limited and takes years to develop. The financial considerations also influence the decision. Import substitution necessitates the re-engineering and retesting of many essential systems, leading to considerable costs and longer development timelines. Managing an extensive network of domestic suppliers complicates certification processes and production planning. The requirement to update or redesign components of the aircraft simultaneously with certification unavoidably prolongs the process and increases resource consumption. In addition to the certification process for the main MC-21310, development is also progressing on a shortened variant of the aircraft, anticipated to accommodate approximately 140 passengers. According to Rostec Chief Executive Officer Sergei Chemizov, the development of this version will require a minimum of two years. The objective is to improve the aircraft's range and increase its suitability for medium to long range routes across Russia's extensive territory. The shorter version will necessitate a deeper refining of systems and architecture, decreasing the aircraft's weight while enhancing the fuel efficiency of its engines. These modifications must achieve an ideal balance between improved efficiency and the rigorous standards of aviation reliability and safety. Preliminary discussions indicate that the new variant, occasionally referred to as the MC-21210, may ultimately accommodate between 160 and 170 passengers, although the final configuration remains under evaluation. Chemizov emphasized that this type of development is common within the global aviation industry. Families such as the Boeing 737 series show how incremental modifications in configuration can result in substantial enhancements in range, capacity, and efficiency. Rostec currently sees the shorter version as a top priority, while work on a larger MC-21 model has been put on hold because stronger engines needed for that version are not available. If development and certification proceed as planned, airline fleets will begin to introduce the initial serial MC-21 aircraft in 2026. Earlier estimates indicated that the MC-21 could achieve a maximum range of approximately 5,100 kilometers. However, this figure was revised during the import substitution process. The formally declared range of the wholly domestically manufactured MC-21310 is now approximately 3,830 kilometers in a two-class configuration, accommodating 175 passengers. Officials underscore that this range remains consistent with the operational realities of Russia's civil aviation sector. Over 80% of domestic passenger traffic takes place on routes shorter than 3,000 kilometers, indicating that the MC-21 remains well aligned with the most popular flight patterns within the country. In this context, 
the revised range does not compromise its competitiveness within the national market. In late October, the second prototype of the entirely import-substituted MC-21-310 conducted a flight. This aircraft has not yet completed the final integration of several essential systems, but it remains a vital component of the overall certification program in concert with the initial prototype. Together, these aircraft will conduct many necessary test flights designed to verify performance, safety, and compliance. Simultaneously, regional authorities are upgrading infrastructure to facilitate future MC-21 operations. The Vladimir region has decided to reconstruct Semyazino Airport, primarily by extending the runway to 2,600 meters, the improvement will allow the airport to accommodate the MC-21-310, as well as medium-range aircraft, such as the Boeing 737 and the SJ-100. Earlier versions of the MC-21 necessitated runway lengths of approximately 2,410 meters, so the extended runway significantly enhances the airport's operational capacity. Russia's leading airline, Aeroflot, has reinforced its dedication to the MC-21 program by augmenting its order to 200 MC-21-310 aircraft. This underlines the airline's anticipation that the MC-21 will ultimately function as an essential component of its domestic and regional fleet. Government officials expressed confidence that the MC-21 has the potential to establish itself as a formidable rival to international narrow-body aircraft particularly for domestic routes with limited range requirements. The aircraft's high level of localization, sophisticated composite wing structure, and prospects for future variants enhance its strategic significance within the Russian aerospace industry. Despite the optimism associated with the MC-21 program, multiple interconnected risks remain influencing its development. One of the main challenges lies in the technical complexity associated with replacing imported systems. Many of these components, such as avionics, safety systems, and essential mechanical subsystems, necessitate comprehensive testing and certification. These procedures must not be expedited at the expense of safety, and any postponement in the development process impacts the overall certification schedule. Another major constraint is the inadequate availability of specialized personnel. The Russian aviation sector continues to rebuild its personnel in fields such as advanced materials engineering, system integration, and flight testing operations. The specialized expertise required to execute the MC-21 import substitution program necessitates extensive training, and developing new engineers and technicians demands a significant amount of time. This scarcity impacts not only the rate of certification, but also the realistic acceleration of serial production. Financial pressures introduce an additional element of uncertainty. Import substitution has markedly elevated the program's costs, as numerous systems require redesigning, re-engineering, or complete reconstruction from the ground up. Budget overruns may arise when timelines extend beyond their original forecasts, thereby escalating demands on manufacturers and the government. These financial considerations may impede investment in sectors such as tooling, automation, and workforce development. Eventually, the challenge of coordinating numerous domestic suppliers continues to pose persistent difficulties. Maintaining uniform quality standards, aligning production schedules, and addressing technical challenges across a dispersed supply chain remain significant and complex undertakings. The work on the shorter version of the MC-21, while promising, might use up engineering resources and draw attention away from quickly completing the main MC-21-310 certification. Despite encouraging progress, uncertainties remain in the MC-21 progression to complete serial production due to these interconnected constraints. The program will necessitate consistent funding, disciplined project oversight, and ongoing technical commitment to address these challenges. In final remarks, the MC-21 program represents one of the most significant initiatives in modern Russian civil aviation.
Although the certification of the wholly import substituted MC21310 has encountered delays, the planned completion date of late 2026 remains unchanged. Simultaneously, the development of a streamlined 140-seat variant presents new prospects for enhancing the aircraft's capabilities and competitive position. Infrastructure enhancements, increasing airline orders, and ongoing investments collectively signify robust domestic demand for the aircraft. However, technological obstacles, workforce deficiencies, financial limitations, and supply chain coordination issues continue to influence the overall outlook of the program. If these challenges are successfully addressed, the MC-21 could become a leading model in Russia's aviation industry, a homegrown option capable of competing with top international narrow-body aircraft designed to meet the needs of the country's vast domestic market. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.